Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Schneider's Golf and welcome to 2021. 2021. This is the first video of 2021 that I'm going to be making. And today, today's gonna to be a fun video. We are gonna have so much fun. We're going to be speed testing the feed rate on the Aero 500. The specs on the Aero when it was brand new were about 475 inches a minute on the table and the Z axis for cutting speed and about 780 inches a minute on rapids. With the new Centroid Retrofit, I'm gonna try and turn up our feed rates to around 400. I don't think I need to go quite to 475, we'll see. But I wanna start at 100 inches a minute and just cut a really basic part and then bump up incrementally 100, 200, 300, 400, just so you can see the difference in the speed and feed rate. A lot of people don't understand that you can cut faster or slower with a mill. And some of that depends on how fast your spindle can turn. If your spindle's limited to like 8,000 RPM, which this was from the factory, you can only cut so fast. But if you have a spindle that can go say uh, 10,000 or 12,000 RPM, you can increase your feed rate because you're moving faster and the spindle's moving faster. We are gonna try this at 100 inches a minute, 200, 300, and then up to 400 inches a minute. You'll see incrementally the speed change. I think that I'm gonna leave the spindle off just so that we can listen to the X, Y, and Z motors, make sure and check the velocity, make sure that nothing's getting broken, and that the mill isn't moving around too much on the cement because this mill's never been over 300 inches a minute since I've had it. I'm really excited, this is gonna be fun. This is just a fun video. We're gonna test this out, see how quick we can make it go, and hopefully nothing breaks. Hopefully nothing goes haywire or anything. Well, let's get started. So I do have just a little bit more to finish on this side of the mill. We kind of did the cabinet a couple days ago, but I need to get this cover on. Before I do that, I'm getting a couple new belts. This belt that I have on it is a 30 millimeter belt, and it's got some weird harmonics in it. It's causing vibration in my spindle motor and my spindle. So I'm gonna swap that out for two 12 millimeter belts, and that's supposed to cut down on some of the harmonics and the way that the air moves through the belt and the teeth in the belt. This is the part I've designed. Super basic, nothing too crazy. We're going to be doing an adaptive roughing strategy on this to start. And then I'm gonna do just a basic flow tool path to go down through here. We'll do some adaptive, we'll do some flow, and we'll just see the difference between the 100, the two, the three, and the four. I'm gonna hit cycle start, and we're gonna run it. Here we go, 100 inches a minute. Servos are really cool. They're a lot smoother. They're a lot quieter than steppers. Like if the Tormach was moving right now, you'd hear it. It kind of does like a e e e e, kind of almost like a printer. Uh, but servos are just quiet. They produce really accurate motion. So we're into our 3D contouring. Z sounds pretty good. So 100 inches a minute looked pretty good. Nothing too crazy. There's a little bit of like, a, I don't know if it's a little bit of lash in the Z-axis ball screw, just a little bit. But the motion looks good, it all sounded really good. So we're gonna bump it up to 200 inches a minute. And just for old time's sake, we're gonna see how long our program takes on a stopwatch. So 200 inches a minute, I'm gonna press the stopwatch. We'll see how long our program takes. Here we go. So here's 200 inches per minute. Still not very exciting. But for this old arrow, that's pretty good. Still sounds really good. The motion sounds good. The true test will be the 3D tool paths, the up and the down. That's kind of where Z was making the, a little bit of a lash noise last time. Total time so far is two minutes and 11 seconds. We've just gone into our 3D tool path here. looks good. Just getting a little bit of that sound in the Z ball screw still, but all in all, the motion looks pretty fluid. All 
Alright, we just homed. Six minutes almost exactly. It was a hair longer than I thought, so almost exactly six minutes at 200 inches a minute. Let's do 300. Here we go. We're bumping it up. 300 inches a minute. We're gonna test the time again. Yeah. You can see we're moving it quite, quite a better clip here. So 300 inches a minute, that looks pretty good. I like the way it sounds still. Nothing too crazy so far. I like the rapid moves. It moves pretty quick. A lot faster than what I'm used to. We're into our 3D toolpaths here. Moving right along. And 5.45, so we knocked about 15 seconds off with 100 inches a minute pass. I mean, we took 15 seconds off that part. Let's see what 400 inches a minute does. So we shaved about five seconds off that program. It's kind of weird. Seems like it should be more. I'm gonna have to look at what's going on, but uh, I think part of that's that we might not be getting that full 400 inches a minute. It might be taking a little bit to get up to acceleration because it's kind of accelerating slowly. I'm gonna turn the acceleration up a little bit, see if I can uh, get it moving a little more briskly off of the get-go. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks for being here. This was fun for me to be able to see what the machine's capable of, what I can run it at. Uh, it sounds good. I think I'm gonna bump a couple things up. I think it can still go a little bit faster. It can definitely still go faster, but I don't wanna break anything either. Thank you for being here. Hope you enjoyed the watch. Get out and play some golf, and I will see you next time. Take care.